I'm back and today I've got a really fun example of reverse parallax scrolling in Adobe Muse. Here I've got my example of what our end product is going to look like. Got it open in my web browser here. And what reverse parallax scrolling is, is, well, when you scroll down on a web page, the content comes upward to go up and off the top of the page. Reverse parallax scrolling is having an object move at any speed downward on the page. So in my example here, when I begin to scroll, we've got our little parachuting Goomba from Mario Brothers going down the page instead of up, and he goes through the clouds, and if I scroll backwards, he goes up. But the idea is he's scrolling against the grain. He's going kind of upstream in a way, which is a cool effect, and you can definitely use this in a lot of different ways, but I'm going to show you guys how I made this. So let me close Safari here. I've got a few graphic resources that I'm working with here, and the main one is really my background image. I've got a background image of the sky. That's going to be my browser fill, and that's going to scroll traditionally, but a little bit slower than traditionally to give us that 3D depth. And we're going to have these clouds here scrolling at normal speed. And if I open them up, they are transparent clouds. They're not completely transparent, uh, but I drew these in Photoshop with a puffy brush. You guys could probably find PNG images of clouds on Google Images. So I'm going to be using a few of those. I've also got my Goomba. He's the star of the show. He's going to be the one parachuting down. He's going to be the reverse scrolling object. And then I got my balloons that float up along the way. So this is pretty exciting. This is pretty darn easy to do. I've also got this pipe here for good measure because the Goomba's got to go somewhere, right? So let me click back into Muse. And I'm going to start with my browser fill. I'm going to choose my image here. And that's going to be the sky. So I've got my sky selected. I'm going to position it in the center top position, and it has to be set on tile in order to set the scrolling speed. Uh, otherwise, it'll be grayed out when you go to the scroll tab. So I'm going to turn on scroll motion, but I don't want it to scroll at full speed because I want it to look like it's further back. It's got to scroll slower for that effect. I'm going to do 0.4 seconds, and now I've got that set. Just so you guys know, before I started, I did create a blank project here, and I made it really, really tall. And you can see here that the background ends up getting tiled twice, but remember, it's scrolling at less than half of its normal speed, so it'll take all 3,700 pixels or so to scroll by in order to cover the full height of the image once. So we're not actually going to see it go by twice. We won't see that seam in the tiling. So I've got my browser filled done. That's good. So I'm going to go back to the finder real quick and grab my Goomba. I'm going to drop him in there. And I'm going to position him up here kind of in the corner. And now I'm going to go to effects for this. And I'm going to go to the scrolling tab of effects to set the scroll motion for him. Now what's really important here is that he scrolls backwards. He's going to scroll downwards down the page. He's not going to scroll up like everything else will. So to do that, I'm going to make sure this is set in the downward position. I'm going to have him scroll at a speed of 0.2. I want him to slowly work down the page. I don't want him to shoot down real quick. And I'm going to have him not move sideways at all. I could have him move a little bit sideways to make him drift diagonally, but I'm not going to do that for this example. And I'm going to lock those together because I want him to go the same speed the whole time. Now the key position, the key position is important because I don't want him to be on the screen when the page loads. I want him to scroll into view. So if I set this on zero, that means he's going to be spaced the way he's spaced right now from the top of the browser. Zero pixels means he's going to start relative to the top of the browser. Zero pixels is the top of the browser and be spaced however far I have him spaced down in my design view right now, which is uh, a few pixels, maybe maybe 25 pixels or so. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to grab this and I'm going to pull it down below him which means the top of the browser will be above him. He'll be above, well, right now he's above my cursor, and that's where he'll start out relative to the top of the browser. So he'll load above the fold, so we won't even see him until we begin scrolling. So he's set. Let's preview this real quick. I'm going to do Shift-Command-E and see where we're at. See, he's above the fold. When I begin to scroll, here he comes. So that's looking good. I could call it a day right now, but I want a little more depth. So I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to go back to the finder and I'm going to drop in those clouds. I'm going to select all three in my case. I'm going to drop them on there and go boom, boom, boom. There we go. So I've got my three clouds here. 
make them not poke out too much. Now these clouds are going to scroll at normal speed, so they're actually going to slip more quickly over the background. And the Goomba is going to go behind him because I added the clouds second. I added them on top, therefore. And he should look like he's going through them. Yep, there we go. He's going right through the clouds there. If I want to get real crazy, I can option drag this cloud to make another one and maybe another one. There we go. So now we got some more clouds. That's going to look cool. Now that I've done that, let's throw in those balloons because I really like the way the balloons fly in. So I'm going to grab these balloons, drop them in there. I'm going to make sure they're not too big. I'm going to move them a little further down. And these I want to scroll more quickly than everything else because balloons are filled with helium, right? They're filled with helium. Uh, I'm going to set the scroll motion to make these go twice as fast in the upward direction, the normal upward direction. And you know what? I'll have, I'll have these go a little to the left, point two, so they're not going too fast to the left. They're just moving slightly to the left. So they look like they're kind of drifting with the wind. And I'm going to lock that so it goes the same in both directions. So let's see what that now looks like. We'll do shift command E to preview in our browser. So here we go, and the balloons go right on by. That's pretty sweet. I do think the balloons are going by a little too early. I'm going to move them down. And then also, the balloons are on top of the clouds, which doesn't really make much sense. I'm going to do shift command and the left bracket to shoot them to the back. Uh, there are a number of ways to do this. You can move the object to the back, whatever your favorite way of doing that is. But now that I have those in the back, they're going to come up through the clouds. They're going to happen a little bit later, so you almost don't even notice it. It's a really cool, subtle effect there. And then our Goomba ends up at the bottom, and he just kind of gets stuck in the ground, which is boring. So let's put a cherry on top. I'm going to go, and I'm going to get my pipe. I'm going to drop my pipe on there. It doesn't need to be quite that big. We'll make it a little smaller. I'm not sure how that lines up with my Goomba. That should be about good. Maybe I can nudge it to the right a little bit. And let's take a look again. Shift-Command-E. We'll scroll down. There's my Goomba. The balloons went by, and boom, he lands right in the pipe. Lucky that it lined up. How cool is that? That is pretty darn cool. And how many minutes did that take? Not very many. I mean, this is just too easy, to be honest with you. If you've got your graphic resources prepared, or even if you grab them off the internet, you could pull off something really animated and really beautiful in a very short period of time with Adobe Muse. Stay tuned. Please subscribe if you enjoy these. I got more coming at you soon.